Okay, it's day 27 out of uh, 30 days, doing uh, at least a mile every day, so 27 days in a row. Uh, so let me put on the uh, camera and we'll get going on the walk. Nice out today, nice sunny, clear blue sky, no clouds, pretty warm out. Start the timer here. All right, I'm gonna do at least 1.1 miles today. So put in your guess of how long it's gonna take, how long I'll go, at least 1.1. Beautiful today. Clear blue sky, look at the sky, gorgeous. Do at least 1.1 today. The 20, 27 days in a row of doing at least a mile a day. Do at least uh, 30 days. Probably do another 30 after this 30. See if people are liking the video and some subscribing. Get 10 or 15 people. We'll do another 30. But write down your uh, what day this is for you. How many days in a row? Hey, how are you? Good, good. Somebody on a little electric bike. Something. Put the over under at dogs at uh, yeah, three and a half today. I see a bunch of dogs. It's a motorcycle over here. Go take a look at that. I don't know what that is. A Harley? No, it's a Honda. Honda. Must be an upscale Honda. Look at that. Good looking bike. Never seen a Honda motorcycle look like that before. Must be top of the line. Dual clutch transmission. Now that's something. Alright. Beautiful out today. Shorts. Like a sweatshirt on. easy to get out and walk today. Yesterday we were down at the uh, looking at all those uh, Ferraris and Lamborghinis that car shop garage that works on those. They said they work on them from all over the world. People ship them in from Italy and definitely all over the country and all over the world they said which I didn't know. I thought it was just around the country but several Four, five, six Ferraris out in the parking lot and looked like 20, 25 more in their garage they were working on. Saw an orange Lamborghini, two red Ferraris, a couple of silver Ferraris, an older gold looking Ferrari. Looked like it was from the 60s. I don't know uh, what year that was. I've never seen like a gold looking one. Looked like it was from the, probably from the 60s. You're gonna check out the videos yesterday. It was interesting though. We walked by a lot of different houses too. Some really huge houses in that neighborhood. Never walked through there before. Probably go back again a couple weeks. They said they have new cars all the time that they work on. So see what they have in a couple of weeks and walk by the houses again. A lot of expenses houses. It looked like it was more uh, Manhattan Beach area than uh, Redondo Beach. A lot of Redondo Beach is a lot of townhomes, three on a lot. North Redondo, anyway. South Redondo is down at the beach. I don't know why they call it South Redondo. It should be East and West Redondo, but they call it North and South. Walk down here a little bit different route today that I haven't done in a while. Ooh. See what's going on down here.
quite a few people out and about. Walk down that way. You gotta make a big turn to get across. Take a minute, but that's all right. Be a little bit different route. Here we go. Well, if you're just uh, watching this video, the first video you've watched, you want to join along, write down how many, uh, write down your goal in the comment section. If you want to do a mile a day every day or a mile every other day, just uh, they say people with written goals are. 10 times more likely to achieve that goal than if you just think about it. And that's why, kind of why I made the channel to make it interactive. So you can feel like you're part of the group. You're doing it and see all the other people that are doing it too. It helps keep me motivated and maybe it'll motivate you too. You can come back every day and write down How far you went, how many days in a row it is for you, or just what your goal is. All right, here we go. Takes a while to go this route. I've never been over there before, but we'll do it today. Go down that street over there. I don't know what it is. I've never been down it before. You gotta go through three red lights to get there. So I'm kind of late on posting these videos. I gotta create them and upload them and everything. So uh, tomorrow's the Super Bowl. And, uh,. That's why I'm a little bit just saying it now, but you probably, you obviously, when this, when I publish this, Super Bowl will already be over. See who won. <clears throat> I'm guessing if I had to make the bet, comes a green truck. A custom color, obviously, aftermarket. Interesting. Waiting on me to cross the street. I think customize that thing but if I had to make the bet on the Super Bowl I'd say uh, Kansas City they've been there like four or five out of the past five or six years seem like they're there every year but I found out yesterday that uh, quarterback from San Francisco Brock Purdy is uh, Mr. Irrelevant he was the last one chosen in the year of his NFL draft I don't know what year that was they call that person Mr. Irrelevant. Now he's playing in the Super Bowl, starting quarterback. I found out was earlier this week he's a big Christian, so kind of pulling for San Francisco tomorrow. Bad to bet, I think, Kansas City, but I'm kind of pulling for Brock Purdy. Never even really knew much about him until this year. Never really even heard of him. We'll see what happens. Never been down here before. Never driven down here, never walked down here. I guess that's a apartment complex. Looks pretty nice. Somebody with a, with a Valentine, little Valentine's flag in their yard. Happy Valentine's Day. Probably about 60, 63, 63 today, 64, 63, 64, I guess. A little windy, not too bad. A lot different houses than we saw yesterday. 
I think this is actually considered Lawndale, which is next door to Redondo Beach, but radically different type of neighbor neighborhood than yesterday, and probably only about a mile or two away. A lot more apartments and houses that are 50, 60 years old or more. Oh, almost at a half a mile. Time goes. Go look and see it's an old station wagon. I think it says Buick. I wouldn't have been able to guess it. Let's take a look at it. Be popular. Buick's uh, station wagons were super popular in the 70s. Instead of kids, uh, when people had kids, a sport wagon. Put all the kids in the back. Station wagon. Now it's an SUV like this Escalade. I guess that's probably early 70s. I would guess. And let me know if you know. Alright, I've never been down here before. Quiet little street. Somebody with their Christmas lights still up. We saw somebody with their Christmas lights still up yesterday. Huh. up this street and walk back. About time to make the turns. Doing 1.1 today. We're already at point five five. Time to get there's a the little kitty. Meow. Let's see if she'll come over. Meow. Meow. Get a white paw. not having it. Most cats do not want to come over. Like this street is all track houses from the, I guess from the 60s. They all look exactly alike. Not many of them have been changed that much. Brown stucco. Like most of them are all pretty much built the same. One story, probably two bedrooms. One bath, probably. A lot of them only had one bath back then. They're all pretty much the same. A little bit different, but not much. It's like there was probably same houses, type of houses right here, and they tore them all down and built these big townhomes here, or apartments. Those look, those are apartments, I think. Yeah, apartments. What's this here? It's a purple, purple something. Bougainvillea? Look, another little... You see that color, really, though. Not sure what that is. Oh, I know what it is. It's not real. <laughs> Artificial. Somebody just put it on there. Yeah, I guess we'll make the turn back. It says Redondo home, town homes. Maybe we're still in Redondo. To, close to the borderline, I guess. Hit back, but we're gonna have to cross the street three times again. Let's see if we can get across anytime soon. Doesn't look good. Nope. We're gonna have to wait for that light three times in a row. That's why I don't come down here. 
red lights. Gotta wait for the red light to change three times. Get halfway across here. I have to wait for the red light two times. Well, let me know what the weather's been like for you if you've been walking out in the rain or the snow or it's been cold what the coldest day you walked was i think it one had a few days of rain but only one day did it would have to bring the umbrella and that was not good because the screen was half covered with the umbrella which i wasn't aware of until I got back home but I wasn't going back out in the rain again but I kept the streak alive 27 days in a row at least a mile a day I'm definitely gonna make it to 30 and then probably do another 30 I guess See, people a lot of people like the channel we'll keep it going well got here just in time for the light to change Walk back down. Here comes that. Oh, he parked over there. Walk down here and walk back again. A little bit more in. It's a flower store. A bunch of stuffed animals for Valentine's Day. We usually like to get flowers for Valentine's Day. But some people don't because they're just gone in a week. Some people like the stuffed animals, the big bear or something. And then they last as long as you want to keep it pretty much. Alright! Make it through here, then we gotta wait on one more red light. We can just walk straight on down and cut across. That's probably what I'll do. Here's another flower store. Busiest time of the year, I guess. Valentine's and uh, Mother's Day. Say Mother's Day. And everybody goes out on Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. Make the mother cook on Valentine's, on uh, Mother's Day. It used to be, on, uh, years ago on Mother's Day, sometimes the lines would, telephone lines would be clogged up. You couldn't get through because everybody was calling. And I don't guess that's a problem anymore. Trying to get across the street here. One more car. Two more cars after this guy. Everybody's on a different uh, 
telephone line provider now, so I don't think it's clogged up anymore. Years ago. here and definitely different walk from yesterday different type of neighborhood we saw what one one dog we left the house and one cat that's it over you took the under on the Over under for dogs, you are the winner. As they say the back to the Super Bowl, the uh, prediction of 31 21 is a favorite score in Las Vegas. Chiefs 31, 49ers 21. We'll see. I, I bet on the Chiefs, but I'm pulling for the 49ers, so we'll see how it goes. It's in Las Vegas this year. First time to ever have a Super Bowl in Las Vegas. They say it could be the most watched Super Bowl ever because uh, all the Taylor Swift fans, they want to see Taylor Swift. We had breaking news this morning that she was going to be able to make it to the Super Bowl. She was flying back from Tokyo. There's a sky blue Prius. And uh, she was taking her private jet from Tokyo to Las Vegas. And she'll be there in plenty of time. So they're taking uh, prop bets as uh, how many times they'll show her tomorrow. I think I said a few days ago over under at ten and a half, but I think Vegas put it at five and a half. But I would definitely take the over on that. I think you're gonna show her more than five more than five times for sure. Because I gotta fill up hours and hours of time and the Super Bowl always takes forever. Nice, beautiful day. Almost home. How's it going? 